everybody at that place treated my son like like it, it's okay for a man to stab him and nothing be done about it. We start this hour with a bizarre story. A mother horrified after a trip to a haunted house turned terrifying for her son. Police say an actor at that haunted house is facing criminal charges after he accidentally stabbed a boy in the foot. Now this is all happening at the popular Seven Floors of Hell at the Cuyahoga County Fairgrounds in Berea last weekend. News 5's Jay Jarvis spoke to the boy's mother and the haunted house owner about this incident. At haunted houses, the blood, knives, and spooky monsters are all fake. But the frightful fun became all too real for one family after an actor got a little too into character last weekend. My son, one of the workers, has, is walking around with a real knife, a real, you know, thing, and my son was stabbed. It's a call no mother ever wants to make. Karen Bednarski says her 11 year old son Frank went to the seven floors of hell haunted house last Saturday with his sister and family friends with hopes of having some good scary fun. But she says things turned just plain scary when they encountered one of the actors outside. He walked up to my son and he was holding, you know, the knife and his intentions were to scare him. Um, but my son responded to him by saying, uh, that's fake. I'm not scared. That's when Betnarski says the man, identified as Christopher Pogozelski Jr., began stabbing the ground with this large Bowie knife, but then got too close and stabbed the knife through Frank's croc sandal, slicing the side of his big toe. Betnarski says one of the adults with Frank called her, and then she called police. I'm highly upset. But she wasn't just upset about the cut on Frank's toe. It's how she said the staff responded afterwards. They just kept saying accidents happen, accidents happen. Betnarski doesn't believe it was an accident, but Rodney Geffert, the owner of Seven Floors of Hell, says it was. And I guess he got a little too close. It was a complete accident and poked the boy's toe. Geffert says Pogozelski is a popular actor at other haunted houses in the area and started working freelance at Seven Floors of Hell last year. He says his actors are not allowed to touch customers and can only use the rubber props provided by the company. But Pogozelski went back to his car and grabbed the Bowie knife that night without their knowledge. The police took the knife and I made it real clear with him. You don't go to your vehicle and get something out like that. We just don't do that. The group continued through the haunted houses that night. Geffert says Betnarski asked for a ticket, but she denies that and says they were offered to her because she didn't want to leave her son who wanted to stay. This week, she pressed charges against Pogozelski. And he should not be working at an establishment like that. That's what makes me upset. In Berea, Jay Jarvis, News 5.